I always liked writing stories even when I was a little kid and I was told that I was good at it. But looking back at those stories, they, they weren't good. <laughs> um, they were just like any other uh, little kid stories. Um, but I loved reading. And I think if, I, if anything, I had a talent for reading when I was young. Um, and that's, that's probably why I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to participate in both sides of that conversation. When I was in third grade, I won a writing contest uh, and I got to take a go on a yellow school bus to Tampa, Florida for the uh, Florida Writers, uh, Florida Young Writers Conference. That was the first thing that, I, that happened in my writing career when I was eight. I think I definitely would be different, a different person. I think my life would be very different if it weren't for uh, the video projects that my brother and I have done together. Um, and I also think that my books probably wouldn't be movies uh, and I probably wouldn't have been as successful as they've been. So uh, Hank and I got very, very lucky to um, start making YouTube videos uh, when YouTube was a smaller ecosystem and we've been, uh, We've been very lucky to be able to continue to make, uh, make them for the last seven years. It's, it's one of the great joys of my life, being able to uh, work with my brother and be so close to him. I, I don't really know how I get my ideas. If I knew more about how to get them, then I would have written a book in the last three years. Uh, I, I, I seem to get better ideas when I walk. Um, when I'm walking, and um, and so I, I I I make little notes in my phone while I'm walking. Uh, that's the my most recent strategy, but it's not easy. <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, I. I hope that I hope that it can be both that um, that I write both for myself and and to make a gift for readers. I don't think that writing works if it's not a gift. Um, I think you have to make it make it for people um, if you want to have an audience. If you're writing for yourself in, in a journal or whatever, that's that's fine. But if you want to if you want readers, you have to make something for them. Um, that said, there is a also a very selfish. Uh, motive involved in my writing, which is that uh, I am stuck inside of my own head uh, and I can only see the world out of my eyes and I can never be anyone else and I can never get out of this consciousness. For me, writing is, is a way out. It's a, it's a way out of this prison of consciousness that where I can become uh, at or at least feel like I can become for a while someone else and I feel like I can live uh, inside of someone else's um, uh, mind, which is, which is really nice. I did write a comedy. Nobody likes it. It's called An Abundance of Catherines. Um, <laughs> I love, uh, yeah, I mean, I love science fiction and I love fantasy, but when I try to write it, it, it I'm not good at all. I love, um, I love romance novels. Um, and I think I kind of have, I mean, I, I thought of uh, The Fault in Our Stars as kind of a romance novel, and I thought, I, I think of Paper Towns as kind of a mystery novel. Um, so I, yeah, I want to. I do. I do like writing that kind of stuff. I don't. I don't know that I'm interested in writing for adults. I mean, I feel very fortunate that these days, you know, these days so many adults are reading my books. But um, I like. I really like writing uh, about teenagers. I really like my job. So uh, I keep. I, I hope to keep doing it. I think I've. I've been really fortunate that. Both of these movies are so, in my opinion, like so faithful to the, the themes in the story. And so I just feel really grateful. Like when I watch it, it's mostly, I mean, when I was watching Paper Towns, I mostly just felt like relieved and grateful and kind of overwhelmed. Uh, it's just so, so strange, it's so surreal that this thing that existed in my head is now on a movie screen. It's, it's hard to even understand yeah, like, how, how, does, how did that happen? <laughs> well, most of that, uh, most of the revenge plot um, was actually uh, invented by my wife. She gave me most of the ideas for the stuff that happens on their big night of revenge. Um, but uh, so some of that stuff I have done, I've done the fish. I've put a fish in people's... Uh, yeah, people's clothing drawers. Um, that's not nice, but I have done it.
I went to a boarding school, uh, so there was a lot of pranks. It's just part of the culture of the place, I guess. <laughs> well, that depends on how long I live, which I don't have a ton of control over. Um, but uh, I would like to have a long career. I would like to, um, I would like to write many books. Um, I've always thought that, uh, I've always thought that 13 would be the bare, bare minimum for me that I would be satisfied with, but hopefully it'll be more than that even. But I don't know, it, it's taken me quite a while just to make the first, uh, how many books have I written? F four and a half, apparently. Um, so that means that I have, uh, I can do it. Eight and a half to go, I can do it. My, my writing idols um, when I was a teenager, I, I guess the two biggest ones were Toni Morrison, the American novelist and Nobel, Nobel laureate, and uh, J.D. Salinger, um, who wrote uh, The Catcher in the Rye, which is a very important book to me in high school and, and still is a very important book to me. And I also greatly admired Kurt Vonnegut. Um, um, yeah, those were my biggest writing idols.